Wigan, a great result. And what a return for Harvey Elliott. So to, to come back like that and score a goal like that, you must be so pleased for him. I am. I am, absolutely. Um, so with the goal, it, uh, it became obviously uh, a proper fairy tale, to be honest. Um, in my mind, I had directed the situation. It's not nice, but it came up, uh, the situation in Leeds. Then we lost him uh, with this horrible injury. And um, so all the way through, he was very patient. Our medical department did obviously an incredible job with him, but he was patient enough to do all the necessary steps. And um, coming then on, it's already a great step back. But scoring this nice goal makes it a proper fairy tale. So I'm really happy for him. He, he was over the moon. It was proper, probably touching. And um, so, yeah, all good. Yeah, and he paid uh, special praise to Joe Lewis on the physio team. What kind of role did Joe play on getting him back? Sorry? He paid tribute to Joe Lewis on your physio team. What did Joe do to get him back so well? Oh, you, you have to ask. You have to ask Harvey. And Joe. I'm not. I stand, stand on next to the bed when they when they work with Joe. Joe is obviously our rehab physio. Um, he works a lot together with the boys. The rehab process is led by um, Dr. Andreas Schlumberger. So, um, so there are so many things to do in in this long period, and you can do a lot of wrong things. And happy, happily, or lucky enough, uh, or luckily, we um, we did the right stuff. So he is back. That's good. Still. Is time what you need. He was long out and all these kind of things, but he's back. We could see that today. He's still an incredible footballer, and we are all really, really happy about that. Uh, and the first sight of Luis Diaz, an assist and a scary moment with a, a, a stud on his knee. How is he? Good. So, thank God. Um, yeah, it was a scary moment. That's true. First, the, the first goal, uh, the, the goal he um, set up for Taki uh, was absolutely incredible. Um, high press, counter press. I love it. Um, and then Taki finished it off. Uh, then the long ball, the heading challenge. He goes down, holds his knee afterwards. We were all really shocked. I had a look on the screen. I saw that everything was fine in the air. Everything was fine when he came down. But then I saw the big fella of <laughs> Cardiff standing on his on his knee, and he has now a bruise there and a scar, like a yeah, it's red and a little bit open. Um, yeah, we all said to him, welcome to England. Um, and now he has his first <laughs> assist and his first uh, little scar. Um, that's absolutely okay. Um, and I, I don't think it will be any serious because maybe tomorrow he feels it more than we have to react to that, but it, it's nothing serious. Thank you, Jeremy. We'll go to Masatoshi next and then to Chris Baskin. Hi, Eugen. Um, Taki played uh, two matches for Japan and then came back, but Seemed pretty sharp all around and scored the second goal. Taki obviously was very successful with Japan. Uh, before he left, he was successful with us, so he has a really good moment. Played today a really good game, scored a wonderful goal. Um, came back early, he could have stayed a little bit longer away if he, want, if he would have wanted um, with his... Uh, um, Outstanding attitude. Obviously, he wanted to, 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 to be back quicker. That's why we could line him up today. Very, very good option for us. Um, and yeah, he's in a very good moment. Thank God. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Master Toshi. OK, we've got to Chris Baskin then to finish Carl Markham. Hi, again. I don't want to put any case on it, but I don't think your squad has looked so strong at this stage of the season, you know, in terms of all the injured players coming back to Yargo today, Harvey. But would that be a fair observation? You, you seem so well equipped now for, for the four four challenges, for you know, four competitions you've got ahead of you. We had exactly the same squad before as well. So um, Lewis came in, uh, Ned and uh, and Nico left. So the squad is not, okay. If you want, um, Harvey came back as well. So when they all fit. We have a really good squad. We never said anything different. Um, a really good squad, and then we have to we have to use that, of course. Um, but they were it never happened really that they were all fit. It's now the first time, maybe. Let's hope that tonight nothing happens in the game in Africa and stuff like this, and then come back as the two boys come back as well. So um, yeah, let's see. We, we are never in doubt about the quality of our squad. That's it. Any follow up, Chris? Yeah, I suppose it was just the point I was making was more about the fitness of everybody. You know, it just seems everybody's fit at the same time. So you, you, that was more not not, not the quality. The quality's always been there, but just to have everybody available. Yeah, look, I hated to talk about these kind of things because next day I get message and something is not like it was before. So if they are all fit, then we have a good squad. I mean, today, in this moment, it looks like 
they are all fit. Even Debogo Rigi is um, trained last week with the team, so he was um, not ready for the squad yet, but was um, is, is in full training now from now on. So um, yes, that's positive. But again, uh, that's a that's this moment. Let's see what kind of news I get tomorrow, and then from there we go. Uh, we play Thursday, Leicester. We play Sunday, Burnley. We win then Champions League and all this kind of stuff. So the, the games are coming really thick and fast, and we have to to be ready for that. And if the, the better, the more players we have fit and available, the better it is. But that doesn't win football games because other teams have good squads as well. Um, you have to do then the right stuff on the pitch and that's what we have to do. Thanks, Chris. Final questions then from Carl Markham. Hi, Jürgen. Um, a lot has been made of, of Harvey's uh, physical comeback, but we, I think we forget he's, he's only 18 and, and it's a big mental thing to, to make a comeback and, from such a serious injury. True, but it's probably his biggest talent is um, how how ready he is uh, mentally for all that for all the stuff out there. Uh, he's a kid, yes, but on the pitch not so much, and um, he was buzzing. He was really um, waiting for this moment, um, and we all were waiting for it. But um, that we could do it today is just it's just really nice, and um, so yeah. When when he got the injury, when he got injured. The next day or two days later, I saw him at the training ground and I was in a worse mood than he was, to be honest. <laughs> I saw him. They were like, they were pretty much like, come on, boss, head up. I will be back, stuff like this. So, um, yeah, he's an exceptional talent in a lot of different departments.